Hello, everybody. It's September 1st, 2023, and today I wanted to go ahead and get into detail something that I brought up back in May, which was the idea of developing another long distance trail in Louisiana. So back in May, I had talked about a potential trail north of Baton Rouge in the Tunica Hills region, which is a very popular area for people to hike. That includes a few trails in the St. Francisville area and then north towards Mississippi and then further north into the Clark Creek recreational area. That's an extremely popular trail that a lot of people like to go do uh, for a day hike. So what we've been working on is coming up with a potential trail similar to what Eric Heber had come up with with the Kasachi region that would link up several trails already in existence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this map with you in a second. But keep in mind that all this is in idea stage. We have discussed this with some locals, and I can tell you that a lot of people are really excited about the idea. And also, too, they do believe that much of what we have created as a potential trail will more than likely get official support. But again, we're not at that point yet, but I figured it'd still be a good time to go ahead and present this idea to you all so that any of you out there who are watching this that like the idea and are very interested in potentially hiking something like this can provide me with feedback so that I can then in turn provide that information to the parties that will be involved in approving of this trail. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and present this to you now. This is an overview of the potential trail. And there are a few different color codes for this that I'm gonna explain in further detail. But what you are looking right now is primarily West Feliciana Parish and St. Francisville is right here. And I'm gonna get into some of these other areas in a little bit, but for all intents and purposes, I'm going to explain this potential trail as if you were traveling northbound on this trail, which means that we will start down here in St. Francisville and eventually work our way up across the Louisiana Mississippi state line to the Clark Creek recreational area. So as I zoom in on my screen, you'll be able to see that this is the town of St. Francisville. A lot of people from Louisiana really love attending uh, St. Francisville because there's a lot of other things to offer. So if you're a hiker, but you may have a friend or a spouse that may not be so interested in hiking, but they'd like to visit, there's always a lot of things to do. There's a lot of neat antique shops and restaurants and whatnot. And uh, also, uh, a few plantation homes that a lot of people like to go and visit. And with that being said, the idea that we have is to start the trail right here at the Myrtles Plantation, which is one of the more popular destinations in St. Francisville. What you see in blue is a potential extended route in the future. And I'll go ahead and talk about that briefly, and then I'm going to jump onto the actual route that we've come up with. But what will possibly happen, and this could take up to maybe as long as five years from now, is that you could have the option to start across US 161 and work your way into the West Feliciana Sports Park. And if you want, you could go check out one of my videos that I published back in late April. It was actually my last recorded hike of the hiking season where I hiked most of this trail. Now, they also refer to that trail as the beast and it does have a lot of switchbacks. So what we had designed as a potential extended route would be to avoid much of the switchbacks and pretty much focus on the perimeter of the beast or the West Feliciana Sports Park Trail, then exit southbound. Now, at some point in the future, the city of St. Francisville is working on developing their own local trail system that would include this area. I don't have any specifics yet, 
It's only in the works. But again, it could take several years, but we may be able to eventually link that trail that's supposed to pass southbound and under US 61 and back towards the downtown area with the beast. So with that being said, we'll now go to the actual route that we're starting with that would be currently available for all intents and purposes for the Tunica Trail. And you can see that the line that I have drawn is in a lime green. And much of this, I will tell you, is a lot of road walking. But if you've been to the area, there's a lot of rural roads that are very narrow that do not have a lot of traffic. And part of it is because when you visit this area, especially from this point westbound, this area is basically a large bluff. And so it is quite hilly. And a lot of these roads I'm gonna be talking about do have a lot of curves. So very safe to walk. A lot of people ride their bikes on them. But nevertheless, we would start just at the parking lot of the Myrtles Plantation and work southbound and then eventually follow back to the road that runs parallel to US 61. Now, most of this does have a sidewalk and it brings you directly into the downtown area of St. Francisville. A lot of things to do in this area. There's more construction to come from what I was told. So there'll be even more opportunities for things for people that may want to stop uh, and take a short break. But as it progresses into the downtown area, uh, this is the intersection where it turns right at the corner of Commerce Street and Ferdinand Street. And this would then follow along a sidewalk all the way out of the town of St. Francisville would be the route that would take you towards Cat Island Wildlife Management Area. And for those of you that have been out there, Cat Island is a very neat place. It's located near the Mississippi River. It has one of the largest cypress trees, if not the largest, east of the Mississippi River, further along. And so there's a two mile trail that actually runs uh, through the wildlife management area. Now, I'm gonna scroll back and explain why this point on is marked off in blue. At this intersection, you have the option to go left into the Cat Island Wildlife Management Area or continue straight on Jacko Road. So what's marked off in blue would be an extended route of the Tunica Trail that would be basically the river section. So you would have the opportunity to go through Cat Island. You would have an opportunity to, to see a different topography because the land drops significantly. But you have to keep in mind that this is a very low area. And because there's not a levee system along the river, particularly the east bank of the Mississippi, in this area here of West Feliciana Parish, it can tend to flood. So what will end up happening is, is there's going to be times where, and as I zoom, you'll be able to see here's the river. It goes right up to the river. You're not going to be able to walk on it. But it is an extended route. Uh, you will be able to go through this National Wildlife Refuge for Cat Island for several miles. You can also uh, bypass this two and a half mile trail, but it gives you an opportunity to get off of the road that cuts through Cat Island National Wildlife Refuge. The river route, would then continue along the Mississippi, and then it would start to follow in a more northerly trek along the Mississippi River. And there is private property out here, but there's also a lot of camps uh, that have not been used in a while. And I think they've been looking at what they can do to maybe revitalize that. But for all intents and purposes, at some point when this trail can receive an official declaration and approval by the local authorities, we do anticipate that there will be some spots that will be designated as camping areas. And so at this point, there's nothing official yet, of course, 
but there will be some areas for people to eventually stop and camp out for the evening. Obviously, there's not a lot of amenities out there uh, along the river. So it is a very remote section to hike. You just would have to keep in mind, you would probably have to pack with you some extra supplies if you're going to take this blue marked area or the river section of the trail. Now, going back to this area right here, I'm now going to talk about what's in red, which would be more of the bluff section of the trail. So you'd have the river option and you'd have the bluff option. The bluff would follow you along a set of rural roads that fit the description I talked about a little while ago. Very narrow. Some of it's paved. Some of it's not paved. Um, but for all intents and purposes, it goes through some residential, but it's very limited residential. It's very quiet out there. Again, some people like to ride their bikes. But this is a great way of experiencing the rural life of St. Francisville and West Feliciana Parish following along this road. And again, there's not a whole lot of designated camping spots, but similar to what I just mentioned with the river walk section, there will probably end up being some once everything's approved by the local authorities to develop some spots along the way. Now, as both trails move northbound, you can see where they connect right here. And from this point on, there's really just one route as it continues towards the Tunica Hills Wildlife Management Area. And so the rest of the main trail will be marked off again in this lime green. This is still a group of rural roads. Now, you can get to the Tunica Hills Wildlife Management Area right here if you turn right and follow along this road, and it will eventually take you back into the Tunica Hills Wildlife Management Area. However, what we think is gonna be a more ideal route, and it would cut a little time off to get into the wildlife management area, is if at this particular intersection, you would turn left and go westbound and follow back towards the river and then go through this area that's the Como Plantation, which borders the wildlife management area. I know that they're developing a trail back here, and so it's just going to be a matter of working with the authorities, with the wildlife management area, to be able to connect to this trail and work back to the other existing trails. Now, for those of you that have hiked the Tunica Hills Wildlife Management Area, you're real familiar with the fact that there's multiple trails. I don't have them all marked off in their entirety because we're trying to create a trail that's going to be more linear. So it's sections of two of the three trails that are in this area, which would be trails B and C. Now, again, this is just a recommended route. And once you get up there, you may decide that you may want to take this trail instead, which is trail A, instead of the route that we have here. But for all intents and purposes, you would come in along trail B, and then it would eventually take you back to this road that cuts directly through the wildlife management area. And after a short walk, it will then connect you with trail C. And we have almost the entirety of trail C marked off as part of this potential Tunica trail. Now, as you can see right in this area, and when that were to happen, this particular extended route would take you almost directly back towards this area, which is the north track of the Tunica Hills Wildlife Management Area. Not everyone's familiar with this. It is also part of the same wildlife management area, except it's just a little ways from the areas where most people hike, which is in this area back here where the three trails A, B, and C are located. But this is a safe way to get across LA 66, it's a very busy highway that takes you back to Angola. And you wouldn't have to roadwalk Angola at all 
uh, for all intents and purposes, part of the north track of the Tunic Hills Wildlife Management Area Trail because this is a about a 10 mile loop, if I'm not mistaken, throughout this section. But then it would just lead you back along this forest road uh, that takes you back to Highway 66. And then you would just have the short walk back to where you had crossed originally. So this section from LA 66 back to Trail C would be an out and back if you wanted to have an extended hike. After that, if you so choose to take the extended hike, or if you chose not to, you would follow along the remainder of Trail C. And then at this point is the road that cuts through the Tunica Hills Wildlife Management Area. And you would follow this out back towards what is the main entrance to the wildlife management area and continue to follow it northbound. And in this vicinity here, there is a designated campsite area. There's also a private campsite area in this vicinity as well that has cabins and tent spots available to rent for the evenings. So if you're coming northbound out of the Tunic Hills Wildlife Management Area, you're definitely gonna have several options that are already designated in place as of today. The trail then continues on across LA-66, and then you would jump on LA-969. Now, this is a two-lane highway that goes into Mississippi. I just went out here a few weeks ago, and there's really not a whole lot of traffic on this road. And for those of you who have done long-distance hikes in other parts of the country, you are familiar with a lot of these trails that have these type of sections. So obviously, we wanted to reduce the amount of highway walking. Uh, but again, even though this is a designated state highway, it's not a highly trafficked road. And the other nice thing is there's plenty of room on both sides to be able to walk without either being on a highway or being in a ditch, just like the other rural roads that I was pointing out earlier uh, as part of the main part of the trail back towards the St. Francisville area. But from here, you cross into the state of Mississippi, and then you would go through the small town of Pinckneyville on your way to the Clark Creek nature area. And of course, this is a very popular trail to hike. We just drew up the, the loop trail that goes around Clark Creek, and it would come back here at the parking lot area. And that would be a great way to end the hike if you're traveling northbound. Of course, if you decide to do opposite and you want to go southbound, you would start at Clark Creek, make the loop, and then come back southbound towards Louisiana. I believe that this trail would be in that 100 plus mile range, depending upon which direction you take. If you take the bluff route, it would probably be a little under 100. If you add in the river route, which takes you through Cat Island, it would actually put you probably closer to 100 miles. Now, again, all this is subject to change over time, but we wanted to draw something up that we felt would be hikeable almost right away. And we feel very confident that this is going to be a trail that we probably will be able to get some kind of support from the local authorities maybe as early as the end of the year. And should that happen, of course, we're going to be updating you here on this channel. And also, too, we'll be providing updates on the Bayou State Trail Association uh, website, YouTube channel, and also the social media platforms that we're currently active on, which currently are Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Of course, you can follow me on Cajun Hikes, not only here on this channel, but also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Again, this is all an idea stage, but after visiting with some of the people a few weeks ago up there in St. Francisville, they were very excited about it. It's a great place to go visit. For those of you who've been there, uh, you know exactly uh, where I'm coming from with this. 
It's a great getaway. And it just opens up a lot more opportunities for people who want to hike that may have never thought of doing such a thing, having an extended hike instead of, as you saw on the map, the trails are scattered going from one trail to the other. You could probably, if you are in pretty decent shape, hike this entire trail in about four days, particularly the bluff route. If you took the river route, it may be closer to five because it would take you probably an extra day to get near the Tunica Hills wildlife management area. So just something to keep in mind if you decided you wanted to check it out for yourself and hike it. And of course, I can provide you with some maps of this. If you want to go ahead and send me a message through Facebook, I'd be more than happy to take a snapshot of this map and share it with you all. But over the next few months, we're actually through the Body State Trail Association going to be talking to the local elected officials about this idea to get it officially approved. And then hopefully, maybe as early as next year, no talent, we'll be able to actually start getting some signage and some official maps drawn up to promote the trail. And of course, if that happens, I will definitely start to promote it at some point on this YouTube channel. So thanks for checking this out. I uh, hope to hear from you, get feedback on this. And I will see you again soon on the Louisiana Trail.